hello, hello, hello. Listen, I have been ripping and running all day, and I need you guys to come on in here and talk to me while I unpack my groceries and start my meal prep for the week. And I know, I know what you're going to say, Ty, it is Wednesday. Mind your business. I need to get my groceries together so I can get my eating life together so I can get myself and keep myself on track. So I am just unpacking my groceries and I just want to come in here and talk and chat on this. Well, it's lunchtime, so I want to just chat on this um, Wednesday afternoon. So I hope somebody comes on and joins me. Come on and join me, you guys. Yo, my daughter's here. Um, and I am just, like I said, I'm just um, unpacking my groceries. And I said, you know what? I, You know, this is the setup. So here's the setup. So the setup is that you go to uh, buy your groceries for the week. And you come home and you unpack your groceries. And then you tell yourself, just take a break. And then after you take your break, you're going to get back up and you're going to meal prep. And guess what never happens? What never happens is that you never come back and you never meal prep. So I said, let me not do that this week. Let me not even fake myself out. So I'm coming home. I'm unpacking my groceries. And I'm going to meal prep for the week. And guess what? I only bought my groceries for meal prep because we're about to go into uh, next week, which is Christmas week. And your sister is going somewhere to sit down somewhere and to rest. So that's what I plan on doing next week, but I have a couple of days until then. So I said, let me get my meal prep together so I don't have to buy food. So I don't have to buy food. So, hey, Olivia. So here's the cool thing about my kitchen, you guys. It's under renovation right now. Um, so you might see some craziness going around. It's just because my, uh, uh, stop, stop, stop. It's just because my kitchen is going through renovations. What's, what's wrong, little girl? What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong? What you want? What do you want? I just ate. I just, I just, fed, I fed you. I fed you good food before I came on, so that I have a moment to talk to the people. You still not full? You still not full? So, um, okay, so what I'm making is my fake, my go tos. I have a few go tos that I make, and they are um, I love collard greens. I love a mix of collard greens. So, here, so kale. So, here's my kale, my collard greens, black beans, and um, black beans, collard greens onions so that's gonna be my breakfast that's my breakfast and then for my snack i'm gonna have yogurt with some fruit and then for lunch i'm gonna have um, a curry curry chickpea stew you know that that's my my go-to and then for dinner of course i'm gonna have some roasted vegetables and i probably have some fish I, i've been craving i don't know why but I have been craving like crazy. I've been craving like crazy salad. So um, that is what I am going to be having. That is what I'm going to be having for dinner. I'm going to have grill some fish with my mixed vegetables, my mixed roasted vegetables. And it already sounds delicious, to be honest with you. Because I really, really love it. What are you doing, girl? Y'all can't see her, but she's like right here. I'm hoping that she does not um, knock over my camera stand. Because that wouldn't be any fun, would it? Would it be Olympia Grace? So, yesterday I had this appointment with a massage therapist. And guess one of the questions that she asked me was, what's your routine? And I wonder, and I want to hear this from you guys that are on or when you come on. Um, what I wanna hear from you guys is, what is your routine? So, she asked me what my routine is and I said, I don't really have a routine. Hold on one second. Oh, um, I don't really have a routine. I literally um, mix her 
literally, ah. I just jump out of the bed and just go. I literally just jump out of the bed and just go. And she was like, no, that's not the way to go. So what I was saying to myself is that I really need to develop a routine for myself, especially because I'm getting older. I'm getting well advanced in years. Um, and that routine might look something like, you know, waking up in the morning. And when I wake up in the morning, doing my quiet time with God. And then after I have quiet time with God, uh, doing some yoga so that I can work on my soul. You know, I'm all about that balanced life. Hi. I am just meal prepping. I needed some company while I'm meal prep. So I am meal prepping for the week and I know it's Wednesday but this food is going to last me until I do my Christmas vacation next week so it'll last me literally all week long until I go on vacation so my routine looks like what I've decided my routine will look like what I decided my routine will look like is me spending time with God. And then after I spend time with God, uh, doing some yoga for my body. Like maybe, like nothing, nothing too crazy. Like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then going to the gym if it's a day that I go to the gym. And if not, you know, finding something else. Maybe, you know what? I can actually... Uh, if, if it's not a day that I go to the gym, I can still do something at home, like do a YouTube video, something like that. That makes sense to me. So, so I think that that's what I'm going to do. But the whole point in it is that I got to take better care of my body. I've got to take better care of my body. Because it's the only one I have, right? It's the only one that we have. So... That's why it's so important to take care of my body. And I'm interested in hearing from you guys what your routine is like. Um, that would be really interesting to hear. What's your routine like? What is your routine like? Do you prefer to work out in the morning? Do you prefer to work out in the evening? I prefer to work out in the morning because I haven't talked myself out of it if I work out in the morning. So that is always best for me. Because uh, if I wait until after I've seen all my clients, then I'm just, just not going to go. I'm totally not going to go. And that's just what it is, to be honest with you. That is what it is. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys also about the Rehabilitate Your Fitness Journey program. So these onions are making my eyes cry. Um, so the program... It's a coaching program that works with people that need help with the mental health side of weight loss. So sometimes we just focus on losing the weight because we eat okay and because we go to the gym. Sometimes, to be honest with you, that is just not enough because we never really address the fact that there's a reason behind the weight gain. And if you never address the reason behind your excess weight, then you're going to do it again. You're going to repeat those same cycles because you never really got into the root of the issue. And so the Rehabilitate Your Fitness Journey program is all about uh, going a little bit deeper in your journey, not just with surface things like exercises. Usually my program is good for people that have, that kind of know how to work out. They know how to eat. Uh, they just need, they struggle with maintaining um, because that's, if you follow my page any length of time, then you know that that has always been my struggle, uh, maintaining until I started working on my mental health and I got better with that. And then once I got better with my mental health, addressing the mental part, the emotional part of weight loss, because here's the secret. Everything that we do, every behavior that we have, it is to meet some type of need. And I don't necessarily think that we focus on or even care about sometimes the need that is behind our behavior. We just think that the behaviors are just 
are just behaviors and they're just not. They're just absolutely not. They are other things at play more so than what meets the eye. So here's what we do in the program. What we do in the program is that I meet with you for your first session and we just talk about what you've done. We talk about your, your journey, you know, uh, a little bit of, I, I like to do a lot of identity work, meaning looking at you in terms of your foundation, like what's your foundation? What's your foundation? I think that's important to understand yourself in regards to uh, your identity as well. So we look at your identity, and then once we uh, look at your identity, once we get that down packed, hold on. Once we start working on your identity, so I got my onions, I got my potatoes, I'm gonna put some mushroom in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting some mushrooms in here. Put some mushrooms in here because I like my mushroom. They taste like meat, to be honest with you. So y'all, I buy the bougie vegetables that are already clean, so don't judge me. So you see me taking this out, but I am gonna rinse them off. So we look at you. So I meet with you the first time. And we go through your history in regards to how your journey has been thus far, what has been the struggles, what have been, what has worked for you in regards to getting the weight off and keeping it off. And then after we kind of do that work in terms of just identifying what the issues are, we start getting into your how. Like how did this happen? How did you get remember that song? How did you get here? Remember that song? Um, so we talk about how did you get here? How did you get, how did the weight, what's the root cause of the weight? So I help you to identify, and you, some people know, some people have an idea, and some people have like absolutely no idea um, like what that's all about. And they don't understand the function of their behavior. So I help you, mm, y'all, I love me some sugar snap peas. So I help you understand the function of your behavior. And then, once we understand the function, the function of your behavior, where did I put that? Oh. Once we understand the function of your behavior, we get into your triggers. We get into why they are triggers. Because here's the thing. You can know something is a trigger for you and not know why. So I coach you through um, how do you identify your own triggers, and not only how do you identify it, but how do you make it not be a trigger? Because to be honest with you, if it's a trigger, that means that somewhere, somehow, it's tied to an experience that you had. And if it's tied to an experience that you had, that means that that experience is something that was stressful for you, was something that was traumatizing for you in some way, some form, some fashion. And it's your responsibility to do that work for yourself so that it's not traumatizing or stressful for you. And sometimes you can't do that on your own. Sometimes you need support with doing that. And I'm your girl. I'm the person that can support you on that. Hold on. Olympia. Y'all, she got me. She got me good. All right, so I'm going to put my seasonings on my, my roasted vegetables. I use a little bit of olive oil for my fat. I use olive oil for my fat. Of course, we got some salt here. We got salt. We got some pepper. We got some pepper. We got some. Oh, I used the wrong one. Mm -hmm. 
So I got some onion powder. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for joining. I got some onion powder. I can't find my garlic. Where is my garlic? I hope I'm not all out of garlic. And then you guys, I love some smoked paprika. Let me see, is this my, that's the new one. I think I got an older one in here somewhere. That's weird. I can't find my other one, so I guess I'm all out. So I'm going to open this new one. Oh, it was already open. I guess this is the new one. So my smoked paprika, which always turns my vegetables out. And I forgot my fennel. I forgot the fennel, which is not going to be good. But, oh, here's my garlic powder. But it is what it is. All right, so these are my vegetables. I'm going to roast these vegetables. Let me get something to mix it up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Mommy. All right, so, and then after we do the work on your triggers and identifying why they are a trigger, um, what I do is I coach you through identifying some coping skills for yourself. And bringing, it, so the difference between how I work with my coaching clients and how I work with my, my, my therapy clients You put this in the oven. Move back. <laughs> Move back, Olympia. All right. So the difference between how I work with my therapy clients and how I work with my coaching clients is that when we get to the part about um, kind of re um, addressing your triggers and making them less threatening. With my therapy clients, we would do a lot of uh, interventions around unpacking all of that. So but the difference between the therapy clients and the coaching clients is the coaching clients don't go as in depth with it because it's not therapy, it's coaching. So what I do instead is that I provide you with some really proven, proven skills or interventions to kind of get you to think on your own and I walk you through it of course but I get you to think on your own in regards to how do you undo your triggers and make them less threatening and then once we do all of that work we create a plan for you in regards to okay how do I put all this information together and make it my own and solidify it so that I can rehabilitate my fitness journey and I have the skills that I can use for the rest of my life then I let you fly, meaning we allow you to kind of go on your own and practice the skills, but you still have access to me. So for the next four weeks, you have email and text access to me, um, or you know you can Instagram me as well, but you have access to me to answer questions, to help you troubleshoot and work through whatever we work through together one-on-one. -on -one. And then for four weeks, you do that on your own with the support of myself, and then you're done. So it's 10 weeks. The first six weeks is one-on-one. -on -one. The last four weeks is by yourself, but you have the support of me, kind of like tech support. And that's it. That's the Rehabilitate Your Fitness Journey program. So what I need you to do, I need registration opens the day after Christmas. The day after Christmas, registration opens. And so I need you, if you are interested and you have questions, I want you to ask me whatever questions you might have by texting me or messaging me on here, DM me. And when the registration opens the day after Christmas, hop on it. Hop on it. It is, you can go to www dot rehabilitate your life.com to register or you can go to my link tree which is in my bio and if you go to the link tree I like sending people to the link tree because it lists all of the 
the beautiful, amazing programming that I do. So you can go to my link tree and sign up that way, or just go directly to my website, www.rehabilitateyourlife.com. So I want to work with you guys um, at the end of this year and the beginning of next year, 10 weeks to rehabilitate your fitness journey program. We are going to do it. And listen, some people have been asking, Taisha, you have not been working out. Yes, I have been. I just haven't been posting it. But because people have been like, Taisha, where are you? I am going to post my workouts now. Because I guess people like it. People like to hold me accountable. And I love it because I like to hold people accountable too. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for coming and helping me meal prep. Bye-bye.